What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. But before we jump into today's video, I guess a huge shout out to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Raycon's everyday earbud look, feel, and sound better than ever. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable. The best part about these earbuds right here is once you put them in, they are not coming out, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you shake it, no matter what activity you're doing, no matter what, these suckers are not coming out. During my break on YouTube, I wore these things all the time. I actually traveled down to Texas several times. You can see they look good, they feel good, they sound good, whether I'm traveling in a plane or long car rides, whatever it might be, I've always got my Raycon earbuds on me. Raycons are priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. They offer eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. It's no wonder that these Raycon earbuds have over 48,000 five star reviews. So if you wanna check out Raycon earbuds, pick yourself up a pair, it will be linked down in the description down below or go to buyraycon.com slash flare and get 15% off your own pair of Raycon earbuds. Huge shout out to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Steve, why are your teeth out, Steve? He's pissed. Show him, Steve. Steve, why, why can I see your teeth, Steve? This guy, he still scares me. He's, uh, man, he is just destroying everything that we have here. Uh, but anyways, we gotta feed these guys. How's it going, big boy Rick? How you doing? You doing, you doing all right, pal? Pedro, damn it, you're still alive. Uh, well, today we are going out. Hopefully catch some fish, ice fishing. We might die. Hey, you see the, uh, Jake, you see that the, it's giving it a flap. What do you think that's gonna do over time? Oh, it's not going now. The roof is about, it's giving it a dangle out there, yeah. Yeah, I just saw it, it was, I don't, I feel like that's new. Where See the corner? End, it's it, I mean, it was doing this a second ago when the wind was going. I feel like it's always stuck up, but it might. It may be a little bit more. Like, Last thing we need is another, another roof gone. Gosh, they're so freaking expensive. Awesome. You like good skylights, yeah. actually. Free free skylights. Yeah. So it's feeding these guys today. And uh, we're, like I said, we're going to go ice fishing. Now, there's a good chance we fall through, which is why we're going out, because maybe a good title thumbnail banjo pops through, has to swim. You already look like you're ready for the river. What's, what's the strat here? Big Montana Jake, guy or what? It's wet. Those aren't, boots aren't attached. Those aren't waders. No, no. Oh, okay. okay like that? I mean, just a little, yeah, actually. I don't you know what I'm thinking? That's Why don't we put on the lightweight waders when we go ice fishing? Then you would stay somewhat warm, like not the heavy ones, but the real thin ones. And you can kneel on the, on the ice and not get wet. Why am I wearing? Yeah. Except That's for if a you good fall idea. through, they yeah. fill with water and then you sink. That's the fun part. You just mm -hmm. unsnap and swim up or hope for the best. We gotta get these guys some grain. They're doing, you know, Ralph's, he's on patrol. He's looking for a piece of ass still. That's, that's, hasn't changed yet. He's been hanging out. We're hopefully gonna get his nuts chopped. Speaking of that, my dogs, Millie and Lucy, are getting their nuts Shop today, so they don't have nuts. <laughs> well, nuts. yeah, how's that go? In, they're inside somewhere, you know. Oh, okay. It's, it's kind of the same thing. There's two. Yeah, you got it. So no puppies for Millie and Lucy. I know. I, I Macy just would not go for it because I mean, man, little Millie puppies are so cute. Little Lucy puppies are so cute. <laughs> Millie's um, puppies won't be little. That's weird. That's weird. No, Millie's How much Millie's large. She weighed 125 this morning. The vet goes, yeah, you should probably figure that. I said she's a beefcake, buddy. What do you? You can't be hating. Like I said, we got to feed these guys, get them kind of taken care of. Nothing special, but just gotta show you, big boy Ralph is still still doing Ralph things. Look at them lips. Look at them lips doing that. Oh, what's wrong? Hey, what's wrong with your eye? I bet he stabbed it on something. You all right, buddy? You all right? What's wrong, buddy? Bleeding a little? It's okay. I wonder if he just like like this stuff. He might have scraped it on that. But Ralph, you're just you're high maintenance, my guy. Otherwise, he's doing fine. I don't see any other things wrong with him. He seems to be doing Ralph things like usual. Nothing really new. But today it is. It's warm today. Now it's gonna be cold tonight and later. Actually, this this <laughs> afternoon and evening. It's like 40, 45 degrees. I mean, it was warm all night last night and it rained this morning, which was weird. Um, we hadn't had rain forever, so I don't know if we're gonna be ice fishing today. We might have to. We might jump out there and say yeah. Yeah, probably not gonna happen because we might fall through. We might have to come back tomorrow once it cools back down. But we have to catch the Magnum Giant Rainbow Trout out of the off-grid cabin pond, take them into the off-grid cabin, and cook them. That's what we need to achieve today or tomorrow, assuming the, the ice is uh, unsafe. We might have to go back. But that would be the plan. Catch some big old trout. Banjo loves some fish, don't Dude, you? I haven't been trout fishing forever. Really? When, we when, when you and I went? Like hot dog? That was like three years ago, I think. And those were like trout. These are like big daddy trout. Are you a big fan of trout? Never got one. 
one. Really? You ever eaten one? Oh. Not that kind of chocolate. <laughs> they're, they're all right. I wouldn't say they're like the filet mignon, but they're Bony. okay. But we were thinking, well, what if we catch a couple trout? What if we catch a couple bluegills? Blue and we, we fry, yeah, you're a big bluegill guy. Yeah. We fry up the little bluegill nuggets for appetizers, and we can cook them inside the cabin on the wood-burning stove and fry them, and then go over to the griddle and make some trout. So Papa Beefcake, he's going to be joining us later if we catch some fish, and he's on chef duty. So with that being said, these guys are taking care of Pedro. It's about that time, isn't it, buddy? Yeah, you're getting horny, and we all know it. We'll see you guys down at the pond. Hey, Junior. Oh, what are you? Okay, here's a thought, Banjo. Hear me out. Oh, we don't have it. No, what if we just take the tank out there and open a hole in an open water fish instead? Oh, you're oh crazy. my gosh. Dude, there's no. Yeah, no. Ooh. Look at it. They're crazy. We're not fishing today, buddy. And you won't get back because I did yeah, that before on a we video. Need, like, yeah. One of like, those like, inner tubes. You just slide, slide out. Slide out. Yes. Yeah. No, I better make a phone call here. Save, yes, save, save these guys some time. Shoot, Banjo. You're not falling in today. We're going to go get Banjo live check. He's going to go. I'm sure. Uh, no. No, we're going to have to wait. So either one of two things is going to happen. One, it freezes and we go ice fishing. Two, it doesn't freeze and we open water fishing. Regardless, we got to catch these dang trout and we got to go cook them inside the off grid cabin. So for now, we're just, you both need to stay tuned. Gee, look at that, baby. It's open. And it's actually high and flowing like Bill Lowen, baby. We got some open water. And uh, we just came back from filming another video here. And Papa Beefcake, I said, hey, you want to go help us out real quick? Shave some time off. We're trying to do a little catch clean cooking. Papa Beefcake came down and got some trout rods rigged up. So shout out to Papa Beefcake. So we were filming some other stuff. And he came down and said he got the rods already. Look at these are ready to go. Well, he's trying to go ice fishing. Ice. You got the little ice rods. Right? Yeah. I mean, honestly, these trout would fight pretty darn good. We never, we were never able to actually ice fish. Oh, the turkey. Giant Tom. Giant Tom. Oh, oh. Giant Tom. There's a giant Tom down there. I, was, I thought I heard, heard another one. Dude. Big Daddy Tommy. That was a big boy. Big boy. Yeesh. Anyways, oh, Banjo, how you already doing? cast him. Yeah, Banjo's like, cast. Where are they at? Straight, straight out. out. You got it. Well, we're going to do a little trout fishing. Now that it's warm, we had to wait for it to be warm. It opened up finally. Like I said, Poppy FK came down. He got some, I don't know what he, if he's got, yeah, he's got a few things hey, tied on. Hey, finally got your Guggen rods. Yeah, I got my rods. We're, we're, we're rigged up. He's got them all rigged up, so... We gotta catch some trout, and then we're gonna go into the off-grid cabin. Once we, what we'll do is after we catch one trout, we'll go in and get that fire going. I wanna catch a bunch. Yeah. I don't know how many we'll eat today. We'll keep them all, but we might only go inside and eat one. We're not really that hungry. We actually just got back from lunch. But we wanted to catch some trout. You guys have been asking for the trout videos. We're here to catch some trout, and we are gonna t cook it on, hopefully, the wood-burning stove. So, you guys stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna toss out a little lipless crankbait. A little micro. A little baby. One. No! No! <laughs> oh my God, first cast! Oh, Banjo! 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 Get him, Banjo! We're double! You're kidding me! No Banjo, way. Banjo, you might want to tighten that drag. Yeah, Banjo, how's that drag treating you? <laughs> I got to triple up, boys. Look at that thing. It's, it's massive. Look at that. There you go, Banjo. Get him in. Still got him? I want to get a triple. Yeah, it must have been out there a little ways. Here, let me tighten this sucker. <laughs> you want tighter? Somebody, someone tighten this case drag. I can't believe he's got Banjo. A mega. Wow, Banjo, you might have a PB. Or I'm just really weak. It's got to be a PB. Oh, it's oh, oh, it's a catfish! It's a catfish! No way! Banjo got a cat! Banjo got a kitty cat! No. Yeah, right here. I Banjo knew it was big. Banjo got the kitty. Oh my That's a god. Big one. Let's go! Big chunky! Oh yeah. That's a big boy. Dang it. Look at Shoot. that! That's a big old kitty cat. Yeah. Look at that trout. Yeah, he's already Shoot dying. This side. Right, That's babe. my first catfish we of the year. We got pliers in this one again. Dude, that was on a salmon egg. The kitty cat, meow. That's the first catfish we've ever yeah. caught out of this. I didn't know you had catfish in here. Yeah. Dude, I kind of forgot, to be honest. Big. We'll put him back for catching my yeah. over the summer. But... Dude, look at that bad boy. Oh, God. Oh, he's oh, definitely coming oh. out. Oh, oh I got him. Lake. I got him. <laughs> Banjo! Shoot! We thought you were just Weenie Hut Jr. Yeah, you guys were making fun of me. With your pole. Put him back. He'll be better in the summer anyway. We gotta get these Ooh. trout out of here. That's the priority. Look at that. Shoot, Dowie! That was fun. Big in. Yeah. Good work. And we got... Uh, this video is like four minutes long. Sick. First non-trout of the year. Yeah. Dude, that was or the first ever. Ever, ever yeah. That was the first non-trout non we've ever caught. Like, we never... I've caught a game fish out of here besides these trout. Well, man, we already got dinner, boys. This is what, when Felix came down, before it actually froze. Man, that was, isn't that crazy? That was winter. Like, before, we caught fish here before it froze, and then it froze, and now it's unfroze. I feel like that winter went by in a blink. But, little, little crankbait, shallow little runner guy. We got dinner, ladies and gentlemen. And Banjo got a cat. We could have kept the cat, but you know, we just ate, so we're not here for like a huge fish eating harvest. I'd much rather catch that guy in the summer, too, because we, we honestly don't have that many 
catfish in here. I don't know, maybe like a couple dozen. I don't remember. Remember how many big catfish? That was the day we had a bunch of them, right? Remember that day? I guess I can't remember how many we put in here, but there was a decent amount. That was a big old, big old kitty cat. So hopefully we can catch I don't know, a couple more trout, maybe catch one, one or two more trout, and then we'll go start the fire up, warm up that cabin. Luckily, it's not that cold out, but we could toasty it up a little bit, and then we're going to try to cook the trout on the wood burning stove. There is a little flat top griddle in there, but we're not going to be using that. We can get away with more of like a, you know, off grid primitive style. So you guys stay tuned. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. That's a trout. Yes, sir. She on, boys. Fish on. She. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Bring him on up in here. You. Look at that big old salmon looking fish. Can you believe these suckers in the pond? That's crazy. Blows my mind every time. Well, he ain't bleeding too bad. I bet I can probably. Should we keep him or let him go? Should we let him go? All right. Oh, I got one. Banjo hooked up with the double. Oh, oh, it yeah, popped man. off, Red. Oh, banjo. oh banjo's gone. Hooked up, banjo. You got him again on the old yeah. crank. Right See you later, Junior. Bring him in, Banji. See it. Banji. He's Banji. Oh, that one's been caught before. Look at his lip. And these suckers got teeth. Feel them teeth. Feel them teeth. Oh, teeth? Can see? Straight yeah. up teeth. You, you ever seen, seen that? Them? What? Dude, these suckers got teeth. Literal teeth in here. Like big ones or just like... They're, I mean, they're, they're, they're sharp. sharp. Like a catfish or no? Look at that. Those are literal Ooh. teeth. I can see individual teeth. Yeah. Dang, I didn't know I never that. noticed that. Okay. Yeah. You can probably toss him back. He's good. Fire oh, Insta, Insta pick. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, in the bucket. In the bucket. Ah, you're splashing. <laughs> there you go. Look at that guy. So egg. this is the salmon rig, so it's just a little weight, a little teeny little hook, and then a couple floating salmon eggs. That's what Banjo caught the catfish on, but man, the fish are biting. Mm. We said we have for it to warm up a little bit, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go start a fire. See fire if, fire? see if we can get the fire ripping. Banjo got no, Banjo, what the hell, Banjo? Yep. Yeah. Banjo's trout horn. Really? Goodness, buddy. Easy, <laughs> easy with your hands, son. I'm fine. Wait. I got a good grip. Yeah, you don't. There you go. Banjo's just a trout lord. Apparently. <laughs> Ban Bluegill catfish. banjo, catfish, catfish banjo, now trout. trout. Buddy's slaying them. They're fun to catch. They are. Dude, they're feisty. Fight hard. All right. Well, you boys enjoy yourself. I'm going to go get a fire going. Knock, knock. Oh, I love the smell of this place. I gotta shovel it out. Man, it's been a long time. It's the first fire I've lit in here in over a year, I think. Cleaning out the coals. Good. Hey, <coughs> like breathing this in? All right. <laughs> this log we must have reused. So I guess we can put him in. I'm not sure whose strat that was, but these bad boys in there. God, everybody cut down the entire railroad tie. What is going on here? I'm gonna have to just make this work, I think. That's all I got. Look at this. Why is that? A, a that's not a log. <laughs> we got some fire starters here. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Real off grid. What do you guys say about that? I think that'll do it. You feeling it? No. Well, <clears throat> she's doing something. This is where we're gonna be cooking it. Oh yeah, our pan's way too big. We might have to just take this off and we'll just double burner it, I think. Well, we'll let this go. We'll come back. Maybe go catch a couple more. Should have a fire ready. Get to cooking, so stay tuned. Boys didn't catch any? Nope. What the hell, Banjo? Well, we'll give, we'll give the fire maybe five. Five, six minutes and we'll get in there and start cleaning. I like these trout. I like the new house. We definitely gotta have a trout pond somewhere. They're just, they fight so hard. And like, you, you usually ain't gonna catch a bass this time of year either. I mean, you can, it's just like, trout aren't affected by the cold water or like temp changes. Like it's supposed to like freeze again sometime in the next couple weeks, but, and they taste pretty decent. Oh, there we go. Oh, Rick, hang on, hang on now. The old short pitch, he's right here, he's horny. <laughs> he's gonna come back. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get him. Engine you know how to flay that sucker? No. Last time I caught a trout was five years ago with you. That was a good video. There you go. There you go. Lift him up. There you go, your first rainbow. Oh, yeah. oh, he's jumping. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, look at bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. That's a bigger one. Jeez and rice, we got flying fish over here, folks. Banjo and I were babies. All right, Banjo. Now Banjo's yeah. married with three kids, crazy. Now you have a baby, that's weird. 
That I do, yeah. I don't think you heard what you said. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put the text on there. Well, you can keep fishing banjo if you want. I gotta start cleaning. Our fire is roaring, and once their wood's gone, we don't have any more. There he is, buddy. There's gonna be some good meat on that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, oh, he is alive. All right, well, we gotta blind him by the light real quick. Blinded by the light. Oh, look, our fan's going. Look, Ooh. here's our trout, nice and cleaned up. Ready to go. That guy. Yeah, look at our little fan. Isn't that crazy? Didn't you not see this before, Jake? No, never seen How's just heat power? Oh, God, yeah. We got a good fire. That's crazy. It's just heat powered. We brought stuff to make garlic butter. So we've got all the garlic butter we'll make on that little pot. We can wait. Well, no, let's actually make that now. All right. We've got salt. We've got onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, parsley, lemon juice, and butter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think good. we'll just, should we just melt all this butter? Sure. Let's go ahead and dump that guy. Let's go ahead and put him on the stove. Does it work like this? Kind of. Kind of. Be, yeah, be, be careful. Yeah, hopefully this thing gets ripping because uh, we don't have much. I mean, we have one block. Let's see, they, they didn't chop. They forgot to chop that piece. Just so throw that, it all in there at once. So they throw it all in there. Oh, that's the only piece we got left. So I mean, the butter's melting, so it's getting hot. It's getting there. So I'll let that go. So why don't we we can mix our dry in here? Go over here. We're still working on the lighting situation here. So, okay. so we have that lamp in the corner. Oh yeah, blast that on me, Banjo. Make me look good. Hey, you're good. How's that? Sure. Do you need to be over there though, it's or like no? That noise, but it's coming from yeah, I don't know what that noise yeah. is though. Yeah, that ringing. You not hear it? You're no, old. I, no, I, I'm not old. I hear it. <laughs> damn it. Old. I hear it. It only started when you turned it on. Still gone. It's still gone. gone. All right, banjo. If I was to make garlic, something. Oh, well, we have Italian seasoning. Okay, put some of that in there. So that's got like everything. Yeah. You, feel, you feeling that? I mean, it, it's garlic. Yeah. So yeah go ahead and just dump, dump some in there. A little garlic, a little onion. Sure. A little more parsley action. Throw a little salt in there. Like they do the Olive Garden. Tell me when. God, that noise is. Not do you good. like that sound? It's a good sound. Well, why is it? Do we hear that still? Yeah. That ringing. <laughs> like I just got blasted by a grenade. What did he? <laughs> Could hear the flashbang. It's got a flashbang. You liking that? Should we add that to the butter yeah. here? Yeah, baby. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of butter. Yeah. Like a lot, way too much. You mean pull that butter stick out or no? I don't know if it's too late. There's no such thing as too much butter. Really? That's what I like to hear. Okay. How was that? Sure. Yeah, he's getting it. So this is our garlic butter, so that's what we're gonna basically put on the fish. You know what you could do, since it's still intact, I could pull this out and put slices and then put the slices in the fish. Let's do it. Okay, let's do that. What if you just lay that whole stick in there? Okay, let's do it. Yeah, just put it right in there. Everything like that. Wow. I think that's a good idea. Should we add some more seasoning? At, at least just some more Italian seasoning here. And then we gotta squirt our lemon in there. Oh god, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. So what I'll do is just add, all, add this in here, right? Sure. Toss her in, daddy. Don't lose the... Maybe scoot that butter down the cavity a little bit. Give her a shimmy. Yeah, that's good. Oh, did anyone else just oh, see that? What? He moved. No, dude, yeah. he 100% did a tail kick. Yeah, that's yeah. sick. What the hell's wrong with this thing? Should we make a homemade lid? Yeah, let's make a homemade lid. Yeah, it's close. It's gonna be better than nothing. Oh, she's sizzling. Oh yeah, that's some good ASMR right there. Fish is on banjo, how are you feeling? I feel good. You gonna sit in your recliners for the first time in a year? Man, this cabin's, every time I come to this cabin, I'm like, this man, this sick. cabin's sick. It looks way cooler now that we finished this seal. Yeah, this looks good. I'm, I'm chilling now, man. This is, I can definitely sleep in here. Eat my trout, go catch my oh, trout. Man. It's a shame we gotta move, you know? Let's mm -hmm. have to build something better at the new house. Well, we'll let this trout cook, and uh, once it's done, we'll take it off and give it a taste. You guys stay tuned. Oh yeah, the bones are starting to shoot out, boys. You know, give her a little flip. Oh, she's tender. Oh god. Flash. Now we're talking. Alright. Oh yeah. Healthiest trout in the, in the sea right here, buddy. Bingo. Give her maybe five more minutes and we should be eating it, so stay tuned. Sheep! 
banjo. I'm not sure it looks oh, all that great. That's Jake Strout. Really? No. Oh, I did catch this yeah. one. Dang. Which one? I really think it's going to taste fine. It just looks kind of, you know. It smells no, good. It's going to be good. It smells really good, like really butter and garlic cakes. That's pretty much all we have in it. Spoons! There's no fork in here. What? You can probably like, get it off. Yeah, I, I can probably Well, I mean, it. we can take spoons. I can tong it off. Start. Oh, look it. at that! Sheesh, buddy! You can eat the skin. Look at all you that. Can. So do I need to do anything with the bones or just I would just start flaking gotcha. meat off. Smells good. I think I avoided a lot of the bones there. Yeah, look at all that. We're leaving the bones. Sheesh. What about this guy? Oh. A lot of little pin bones in that one. Yeah, we'll set him off to the side. Dude, the skin. I feel like for just a little wood burning stove, we actually did pretty good. Ooh, there that looked like a good, a good piece. This is a ton of meat. Yeah, oh, yeah. Over the old flip and the old peel. Wow, look at that. All right, we'll let that side cool off. Those those little four nuggies. Those, those are, are ours. Four? Go, 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 go for it, banjo. Is this one? You think this one's good with the skin? Or yeah, yeah, no, it'll be all right. All right, I'm going to skin. Here we go, boys. Whoa. Oh, Pretty good. I'm... That is all bones. That's... Really? Yeah. Oh. I'll go this piece. I'll go this piece. That's the best shot I've ever had. By far. Dude, that we killed it on the seasonings. I'm trying some skin on mine. Okay. What do you think about that? Oh, I really brilliant. think our seasonings are like... On par. Mm -hmm. You got some skin going, huh? Mm, better than good. Yeah. Dude, that garlic is the deal. That's very simple. I, we didn't measure anything, obviously, as you saw, but that's that's up there. You're, you're take like... the whole piece? No, take the whole piece. Just take the whole piece. All right. You got to Stick that meat in your mouth, buddy. You're probably the most fish-eating oh, guy be here because you're, you know, from where Don't the fish, fish are. Guy, yeah. yeah. I mean, I bring them. For what we did? I I've mean... I've never had trout, so I can't... Oh, you've never had trout? Oh. No, I can't really... Okay, that's there. decent, I would say. Yeah, like, no, trout can yeah, be good. fishy, and I didn't really get much fish no, flavor, like, overly fishy. Really? Just, just, just the skin? skin? Just get some skin. Mm. How's that? It's kind of tasty. It actually tastes good. It's the texture. Yeah. The texture of snot. Yeah. Like you know? you did, but yeah, if you, you had that, skin if you had that left that on the fish, it'd be pretty good. That's good. Dude, those first few pieces had all the garlic, all the butter. Mm -hmm. If you the little amount of seasoning we did, trout, I've mm. actually had trout not taste good. Like it's been or it just tastes real fishy. I'd say this is probably the best trout I've had. And you guys saw the recipe. Simple. Some Easy. butter, a lot of butter. And some, I mean, we're gonna need Italian seasoning. There's some garlic, what some onion like powder. Like? What do you think? One out of yeah. 10. Eight and a half. I need like five, six. You're from Dang, Florida. You didn't like well, it. You know, you're as far as fish Florida. goes, as far as trout goes, I guess it's a 10 because I've never had anything to compare it to. All right, so we got a 10. What do you think? Uh, seven and a half, eight. I was gonna say seven and a half to eight. All For right. trout? Yeah. Probably eight and a half. I feel like it was pretty darn, pretty darn good. Banjo's getting some more. He's happy about he it. He loves it. Mm. I really thought it was, was good. Really good. I was piece, pretty yeah. impressed with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Beautiful day out here at the off-grid cabin. I know a lot of you guys are like, Flo, you're never in the off-grid cabin. You never use it. Well, you know, it's just... There's only so many things you can do in the winter out here besides ice fishing. We tried. We tried ice fishing out here, but it just wasn't wasn't thick enough. This thing has so many springs in it. It kept it open. There was a period where you could ice fish it, but I was obviously taking my YouTube break, so I didn't actually come out and, and do it. I know. I, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Um, but overall, really enjoyed out here. It's super peaceful. I love it. I love the scenery. And we got, I mean, we got working lights. You guys, like all these lights actually work. Every, and it's all solar, the 100% solar. If you guys are new here, you haven't seen it before. All solar, runs off these two batteries right here. You got your little box here that you can shut off. Runs the solar, flip your breaker, and you are good to go. We do have this bad boy here, which you can cook with. I don't think you're supposed to cook with these inside, but hey, we're doing it anyways. And we actually made these two. This was one butcher block that we cut. One We had one piece, we cut it into two, and then put it on these open cabinets. Some super cheap that way. So overall, Banjo, you're feeling it. Yep. But he's still, he, still he, but he's still yeah, munching. He likes it. <laughs> With crackers. Ooh, crackers would be good. We could, we could do a little fish.
fish crackers went out. So anyways, trout's absolutely delicious. I, uh, I hope we can catch some more. I really hope they live. I hope they live through the spring and into the summer because that's really when we want to be doing the catch and cooks. Like, it's not bad here. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, when it's freezing cold outside, I mean, unless you heat the cabin up, which is, you can. Fishing out there is not that enjoyable. I'd much rather catch those trout in the summer. I just feel like trout don't. You just don't catch trout in the summer. I think they, they usually die off or they're not super active. They may be a little bit uh, more lethargic. But anyways, off-grid cabin, catch, clean, cook, complete, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch us and peace.